Okay, hey, we're back with some best of three matches. This is part two of yeah. the Boba Fett showcase, or Boba Fett, not showcase, we can't, we can't call it a showcase. Boba Fett. Oh, yeah, showcase is a thing we can't in the game, that, right? Yeah. We can call it the Boba Fett Spotlight. The Boba, Boba Fett Spotlight. Sounds yeah. great. I like it. All right, so we're going to do some best of three matches with the, the Boba Fett decks that were top two in the... Organized play events, is that the name of it? OPE? Yeah, OPE, yeah. Uh, tournament from Saturday, March 23rd, where the entire top eight was Boba Fett's. So, our previous <laughs> stream, we, we played those two decks against some... Uh, a against bunch of Bean, stuff, Leia, yeah. IG-88. Half of it was us figuring out how the Boba Fett decks work. And that's, that's kind of part yeah. of the purpose of that, was yeah. just to like, get our Boba legs underneath us. Now we're going to play some best three matchups and look at the sideboards and see how we can um, figure those out. We'll see what... What do we what do we sideboard? How does sideboard even work? Yeah, we've done so so little. I think I played in oh. one constructed tournament, so that's a, that's a skill we got to learn. So let's do it. Are we starting out Thrawn versus Boba Fett. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So this is actually a Thrawn deck. I'm excited to play. Um, we've talked about it a bit on stream. Um, you may want to. We may. Wanna, I would actually want to give credit. Let's go find the deck list real quick. It's going to be on SwooDB. SwooDB. Um, and if you go navigate real quick, right there, Thrawn so, Control, the best control deck. So this was by user Boots on SwooDB. Um, he, uh, uh, they have a really nice write up there. Um, uh, get real detailed into all they've, of. They've bolded things. That, yeah, uh, this is this is like to me. This is the gold standard of write ups on your decks. Okay, um, this deck is a little bit off meta. Um, because it's playing 35 events. Um, yeah. and the interesting thing about that tournament, uh, in the UK from this past weekend was that all of, none of the Thrawn decks were this exact I did, shell. I did not see this shell running around. This shell was not running around. And the, uh, the Thrawn decks were like aggro decks. Three search sort of. feelings. Yes, because you've got to find Super Laser Blast. Mm. The whole deck hinges on Super Laser Blast, okay. right? Super Laser then stabilize with Avenger. Correct. Yeah. And Count Dooku. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, let's see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm interested to play this out. <coughs> now, I actually do think this uh, Mono Yellow Boba Fett is probably favored against this deck on the back of Bodhi. So if you Multiple see a Bodhi, Bodhi if you see Bodhi in that deck, also has ways to bounce. Even Bodhi. cutting discarding a random card. Discarding a random card is not great. Yeah. Um, but uh, Bodhi is is particularly bad for this deck, I think, because you get to look at my hand and pitch something. Yeah. So. Um. All right. Now, uh, this this Thrawn deck, I think, has the ability to take people to the mat. Right. Just completely exhaust you. Completely gas you. It packs two vigilances. Um, which it's got multiple. So this 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 is a blue yellow deck, but you play cunning and you play vigilance because paying six in this deck is still worth it. This might be an hour long match, huh? So <laughs> Thrawn Thrawn takes it to time. We, I, have we played Thrawn on stream yet? Yeah. No. So we haven't had a chance to play Thrawn on stream. So I'm actually excited to uh, to see how it works out. Eight. Eight. Three. Uh, you got the Nish. Okay. Um, All right. So I guess this... I guess I have to do something like this. I guess I do something like that. Okay. I like Greedo. Uh, it's, the funny thing is, I think a deck like this that has like a very specific game plan and you know people are coming after cards. Oh, you get and... to look at this. Um, yeah, and I also get to look at this. Okay. Um, I'll try to show the camera, but not myself. When we look at those like that. Yeah. Um, I am going to play Inferno 4. Okay. Inferno 4 War serves a very important purpose in this deck. Inferno 4 helps you uh, helps you find your um, super laser blast. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep a card on top and I'll move a card to the bottom. By the way, if you like our YouTube content, like and subscribe. To oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the start of the video. So this, this is definitely the start of this video. <laughs> I'll take initiative. And join our Discord. Exclamation mark, uh, Discord. Someone type in chat, please. So. 
Draw, draw. Please type it in chat. All right, I'll, uh... Yeah, I guess this has got to go down. Thank you. First time chatter, type an exclamation mark Discord. You love to see it. Also, that was another first time chatter. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They said double, just double earlier, so I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to play Bodhi, I think is the... Okay. Pretty good call here. All right, Bodhi. Oh, I'm sorry, I get to look at this. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not so... Looking. Bodhi can discard any one of these cards he wants. Outmaneuver, Cunning, Sanctuary, Entrench. <laughs> Entrenched on Greedo is funny. Outmaneuver, you'll probably Asteroid Sanctuary Greedo. You don't actually shield this thing because you want it to die at some point. Oh, uh, okay. You, you, you want your Inferno 4 to die because you want to see two more cards. Mm. And apparently what you do, uh, if, you draw, if you have multiple Inferno 4s, you Legend Rule it. Um, oh, get okay, rid of that one, and so you, can I mean, you could, you could do that with it shielded. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get cunning just so it's damn powerful. I am going to use Thrawn and I'll exhaust Greedo. Do you, you reveal I'd the top show card? your top card. Okay, that was Boba Fett. Reveal the top card of any player's deck. Oh, any player's deck. You yeah. look at the top card of your deck too, right? Mm -hmm. You do. Okay. Yeah. I'll take initiative. Okay, I'll uh, hit you for two. Okay. I think I get damage in. Uh, I get to look at the top card. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tag for three. I am going to play No Good to Me Dead on Bodhi. Okay, super exhausted. Um, let's play. Ooh, let's play Seventh Fleet Defender. I don't want to like get all my guys exhausted at once. I'm gonna take the initiative. I'll um, pass. Mmm. Yeah. This deck is sick. This Thrawn? Or the, the, the yellow? Boba Fett. Oh, you get yeah. to see this. Uh, I gotta put a resource. I actually have to put a resource down before I see oh, okay. info. So, uh, I think it's fine for me to put that down. Okay, so I got the initiative. I am going to um. Oh, Bodhi is not ready. That's correct. Glad I caught that. That would have been a YouTube comment. I'm going to put Entrenched on the Seventh Fleet Defender. Yeah. <clears throat> I see. So, um, and uh, for those who are wondering, uh, Entrenched makes it so the unit can't attack bases. This Thrawn deck plays Entrenched defensively. That might be the best way to play Entrenched. I think it's really, really good. Excellent. It wasn't immediately obvious to me that that was the way the card was supposed to be played. I was like, oh, you're supposed to put this on like a Sentinel yeah. and let people crash into it, or you, know, you can use it to trade several ways. Take it for three. Um, okay, I will uh, attack your base for two. Okay. It's actually you could you can even entrench uh, Boba Fett. I was considering because you can play Boba Fett this turn. And I was considering entrenching Boba Fett. So. I'm gonna play Boba Fett. Okay. 
I am going to thank you, Queen, King of Winter. Take the initiative. We have someone named Lord of Winter in our chat. <laughs> you guys should fight. Yeah. <laughs> take the initiative. All right, I'm going to attack Inferno for. All right, so I get to look at the top two when it dies. I'm going to use Boba Fett. Um, I'm actually going to put these under. Character draft won a game entrenching the opposing Rook that was mega Tarkin buffed. Then mm. wins his face. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'll see you later, Rook. You just choose this arena to just ignore for the rest of the game, right? Play Boba. I'll tag it for two. Or four. Okay. I will ready two resources. I will... I'll play Bosk. Okay. I know that arena's getting exhausted. I know that. I understand. But there's a lot of cool stuff there. I guess you're trying to get... You're getting super laser blasts, and maybe I shouldn't overextend so much. I don't know. Draw two. Put a card down. I think I have to put this card down. All right, so events. Okay. I'm going to outmaneuver that arena. Yeah. Um, I'm on six. Are we on six resources? We're on six. Yeah. Okay. I'll play Outer Rim Headhunter. Um, I'm going to take the initiative. I'm gonna play Cunning. I'm gonna discard Ram card and return a non-leader unit with four or less power to its owner's hand. Okay. Wait, it does not have four less power. <laughs> I was thinking cost. You want Bodhi. I want Bodhi. You're right. Super laser blast. Okay, okay. Okay. That's it. Hmm. All right, top card. Yep. I should discard all your super laser blasts. That's the plan. You're only at seven right now, too, so. Yeah, so uh, this deck plays Bib Fortuna. I haven't seen one, mm -hmm. um, but you play Bib Fortuna. So ideally on six, I exhaust his arena, and play then bib. play bib, and then on seven I super la or at, on seven resources, bib lets me super laser blast. Um I am going to um play takedown. I will take down Bosk. Um, I haven't played anything in space. Okay. Let's let's play Bodhi. Okay. Let's see what you got. Uh, that thing. Okay. And you got Avenger chilling. Yeah. Very well. Thrawn is going to reveal your top card and exhaust Greedo. <laughs> okay. I'll uh. Thank you for four. I am going to take the initiative. I'll attack you for three. For two. And uh, place other outer rim. I guess I just hope you don't draw another two blazer. Just so you slamming it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, you can slam it now. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna get. Hold on. Bam! <laughs> okay. I need to wind it up there. Get him off my table. That's not good. Sorry, I do also get to see. Sorry, sir, you didn't show me your. This is a another. Yeah, you you jumped. Procedural again, warning for you, fault. sir. You didn't. Uh... Okay. 
Okay, I'll take an initiative. <laughs> Help comes Thrawn! I'm here, baby! What does Thrawn even do? <laughs> <laughs> he does his thing, but... Uh... Okay. Alright. Attack you for three! Next turn. When does he want to attack? On oh, attack. Stuff yeah, yeah. That's not in play. Okay. All right, draw, draw, play. Oh yeah. All right. I'll play. No good to me dead on Thrawn. Okay. I can do get to look at the top card of each deck. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I'm gonna play the Avenger. Okay. I'll take initiative. And it's your turn. Oh, sorry. Thrawn does not ready. Draw, draw. I'll Asteroid Sanctuary the Avenger. I'm going to play Count Dooku. Naked Count Dooku. I'm going to play Bodhi. I have an outmaneuver and another Avenger. Okay, outmaneuver it is. Uh, I'm going to take the initiative. Dooku's got a shield. I'm going to waylay the Dooku. And that's it. Alright. Draw, draw. I will put... Yeah, I guess I do put this down. I need 10 resources. <laughs> I could play two cards this thing. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, Avengers gonna attack your base for eight. Just a menace. It just drags the game out. Yeah. You know who would love this deck? Our, our buddy Will. Will. You know okay. he yeah. would love that deck. True. I haven't seen him in over a decade, <laughs> but I know somewhere he's thinking about Thrawn. Yeah. Spacer, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna count Dooku the spacer defeat a unit with four or less remaining hit points. Play mining guild high fighter. Um, I will take the initiative. I think it's more important to keep the initiative in this deck than it is to. I think uh, we can just pack it up. <laughs> Game I'm like two. I'm this turn. I think. Game two? Game two. All right, let's look at, let's look at sideboard I mean, here. I think you are dead. Well, right. I, I think I'm so, actually dead, yeah. All right, so what is good? Shoot first is not good. Outmaneuver is not good. Change of heart is potentially useful. That's, that can definitely replace some stuff, I think. All right, so this sideboard has got Del Mico's, Bosk's, Vanquish, and Make an Openings. Um, there's an argument to sideboard in more units because these interact with your board and they can't get bodied. I do think make an opening is solid because uh, you've got Greedo, the Starfighter, the Spacer. There's a lot of uh, units that have some damage on them. So, man, I have a lot of dead cards against you. Like Asteroid Sanctuary, no good to be dead. Waylay, all feel that they're not that good. I think Waylay is pretty, pretty, really bad actually. Um, I think my Power of the Dark Sides come out because I don't think they like that. You were like you had so many units on the board that I think Power of the Dark Sides got to come out. I'm right, bringing in two change of hearts for two waylays. Let's see if that's enough to get me a win. Uh, maybe if I didn't ex overextend so much. Change of heart and, for the Avenger. Because I could reload. I didn't play anything after the Blazer Blast, which is really bad. Really bad. You can change of heart the Avenger, yeah. It's pretty good. Also, Nathan Top Deck Super Laser Blast, so... Uh, yeah, okay. You Let's... Yeah. You yeah, discarded it randomly with I, cunning. I'm just saying. You <laughs> discarded it randomly with cunning. So. I'm just saying that. that. That game would have been over. All right, let's reset health. I'm just saying. Um, I'm guessing Del Mico is for control mirrors. I think Del Mico is probably pretty good against this deck because like makes cutting cost more, makes 
Sanctuary cost. Problem is, that he doesn't kill anybody on the ground. Yeah, that's, and he's that's, just that's like a guy. Issue. Yeah, he's a guy for, he, to me for fueling. But with yeah, that. so like he can restore, sure, but he doesn't kill anybody on the ground. I think it just puts you're, you farther behind because like Mosk gets used out of it, killing the guy. Your and... you uh your units are not big enough for Vanquish to matter. Um, if it was uh if I was playing against control deck, I think Vanquish could be worth Vanquishing like Slave One. Um, Bosk, I think might be worth uh bringing in. I think Bosk is probably worth bringing. Um, in. Come can kill the guy. <laughs> the story where you thought it's life in the battle. Like, it just means you sabotage the ship and took it over the bridge for a turn, right? With your cunning. With your... Uh, so this deck does play I Am Your Father. So I'm going to sideboard out three I Am Your Father in lieu of Bosk. Um, that may or may not be correct. Um, I don't love that card. I, I don't hate I Am Your Father in here because you play it like... On, I think it's like a great turn to play in this deck, right? Just get a bunch of they, fuel. They play a unit, you play I Am Your Father. I think it's worth taking, like, these work well together, right? Power of the Dark Side and I Am Your Father. You play I Am Your Father, and they're like, well, I'll just let it be removal, and I'll just kill this dude, right? Because there's no way I'm going to give the control deck three cards. And then they're down units so that Power of the Dark Side works better, right? Okay, yeah. So it's possible I've sideboarded out too many um, events for Bosk to be effective, because I'm now at 29 events. I don't know that that's um, true. <laughs> 29 is a lot of events. It's possible. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You may want more events. a lot. Right. Well, actually, so uh, I'm still at 32 events because... I sideboarded in make an opening. So I think there's an argument for Bosk and main deck of that deck. We'll see how it functions though. I think I know it goes against your well, game plan a little bit. But. So I think uh, the thing is you don't want units if they've got ECL mm -hmm. because you blank their ECL and they just have five less hit points, right? So join the base counters, Dave. That's good to hear. Thank you. He had a chance to jam a bunch of this game yet, Dave. I feel like you'd like it. That's pretty good. Hmm. Got starters and cards ready to go. Yeah. Sick. The starters are fun to play against each other. I I've... Had a lot of fun um, just playing the starters against each other, just like teaching people the game. Um, so, like, this, there's an argument to just buy a set of starters just to keep together. To I, I do wish that I had them, but I, yeah. I needed the see-through goes in R two D twos and Lena's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. But you can get the hyperspace ones from the organized play kits. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's good news. Perfect. I love those things, man. Yeah, I love those packs, the three card packs. They're so exciting to open. So, um, I have a super laser blast in my starting hand. I'm actually. There's consideration to mulligan it so that I don't get bodied earlier, right? Because I, I only that have. Is, I think that's probably the play. That's that's like yeah. that's there's an argument for that, right? There's nothing that like there's no get cards back from your discard pile. I mean, there's no eternal witness. There's no recall. There's right, yeah. no not um, for not for villain blue at least. Rebels got some of that. I don't have it for events, right? It's just units. Just units. Specifically, two cost hands. Um, okay, I don't, I don't hate this hand, so we're gonna rock with it. Okay. Um, okay. The cartel spacer. I'm sorry, I get to look at your oh, yeah, cards, yeah. sir. Okay. Um, Command gets back again. Okay. Yeah, true. There you go. Yeah, green. But no event. But no events, right? That's that's so what no I'm at. That's what back. I'm talking about. Take the initiative. I like. I take the initiative. Okay, I'm done. Bounty hunter gets back events. Bounty hunter. Yes, the six drop. Mm, uh, they might be. That's that's the sideboard pick then instead of Bosk, right? Cost one more than Bosk, but gets back the card. Oh yeah. That's the sideboard pick. Interesting. And you could cunning it. So you could cunning exhaust two of their guys, bounce your own dude, replay it, get back another event, right? That's five head. Yeah. There we go. I knew we could get that. I knew, I knew random people on the internet tossing out ideas could eventually get to the right idea. For sure. Uh, Alright, so I gotta draw to... Hey, gotta... Welcome to the stream, Ellen Dill. Um, pre uh, put down... 
card. Yeah, I'll put this down. Okay. Um, start of the action phase. Okay. I'm going to use Thrawn, and I'm going to exhaust your Cartel Spacer. With my Boba Feet? Yeah. And I'll play a 7th Fleet Defender. I would hate playing this matchup. <laughs> In the IRL. <laughs> just all day, yeah. right? Yeah. Or just, it just you, you don't want to look at I'm it. A, I'm, a, I'm a sicko who doesn't mind decks like this. I would but... play this deck. Yeah. I wouldn't love to play against this deck. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine a meta where this is like the. Well, deck? they just smash up against each other and then get double losses because yeah. they don't have time. <laughs> right. Well, that one's going to be about like who understands the, the stuff. So. I think mean, Bobby Yellows were top eight. I think two. I think two, and then it was six green ones. SLB or Takedown or Vanquish is a great target for Bounty Hunter, depending on what you want to do. There's an argument around one, two in the main deck. Yeah. So it's getting Vanquish back for Thrawn. That, that's actually probably true. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate. I don't hate main decking this. I yeah. guess I'll just take the initiative here. Okay. No ready. Must do things correctly. Um, yeah. All right. What are you rocking with? Okay. Uh, first things first, I'm going to use Thrawn, and I'm going to tap down the, uh, seventh fleet. Not your Wrong. deck. Not oh, your my. deck. Oh, okay, okay. Um, reveal the top card of any player's deck. Nice. I'm going to reveal this three. Okay. So. Smith does subscribe to Prime. Thank you, Smith. Hey, Smith. 34, 34 months. Oh, yeah. Oh, Smith does, Smith does long time supported stream. Good to see you. I'll get two damage in. All right. I am going to make an opening. Minus yep. two, minus two, heal for two. Well, okay. Welp. Play Gravity Smuggler. Take the initiative. <clears throat> Play Cartel Spacer. Where are my Bodies at, dude? <laughs> I need Bodies, please. So called free thinkers when they don't have a Bodie. I need Gunnings. Oh man, dude, I feel like I'm so far ahead. I don't even know what to put down right I agree. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to put down as a resource. Oh, uh, you haven't played a resource yet. Did you see that? Yeah, I did, but. Okay. Um... this i guess i guess okay um top card of mine no oh, brats uh action the first i'm gonna tap down cartel spacer uh showing you your deck, I believe. Yeah. Not gonna be dead? Yep. Attack for two. Take two. Um please. I'm gonna play uh search your feelings and go through my deck for something. Do you reveal it? You don't reveal it? No. Oh my god. No, oh my god. No. Oh no, no, no. no. Alright, I'm gonna attack you for two. Um, this is actually really hard. So, I have, I mean, not that you know this, but I have the SLB in hand. Um, so the question is, do I get the bib? Um, so that I can SLB a turn sooner, or do I go get the backup SLB? Yeah, in case I have Bodhi. Um, I don't have to show it to you. I'm just going to go get the card. Uh, we have the Keyforge Counter over the past year. Nice to see something fresh. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Welcome yeah. back. Welcome uh, back. This game is extremely fresh. It's so fresh. Extremely fresh. 
And we don't blame you if you if you lost touch with the Keyforge uh, stuff. I think a good chunk of people did um, through no particular fault of any one individual or system. And I don't know what you got. Okay. You don't know what I got. I'll play Bob. Bo Bob? Um, I will take the initiative. Okay. I think I skipped an action there, but because I got attacked while you were doing that. Oh, but yeah. I just figured you were going to take initiative, so. Uh, and I'll play Crafty Spunk. That's it. Uh, I'll deploy both of that. I'll attack you for four. I okay. get that. I get that in when I can. Okay. Feel, I feel giga lost here. You don't have anything on the board. <laughs> I feel like I've lost the game. All right. Staring at uh, staring at six of your own mm -hmm. units. Like, I've lost this I've game. I've lost this game. All right. Uh, top cards. Okay. Um, this is what we call an outmaneuver. Yeah. Yep. Take for two. Take two. I'm at ten. Um... I'm gonna use Thrawn. Uh, and I'll show you mine. Cunning, exhausted. Bodhi. All right. You can outmaneuver, waylay, entrench, cunning, super laser blast. Dot times two. <laughs> All right. You don't have a way to play it next turn. That's correct. So let's get out maneuver. Okay. And then I just deal with <laughs> super laser blast, I guess, somehow. By um, not playing any more units. I think is the I am going to entrench Boba Fett. Okay. Um I'll take initiative. Okay. Boba Fett has been rendered inert. I am at 10. I have... Uh, I guess I put that there. And then we're going to look at the top cards. Okay. All right. Tag over three. Um, we're going to cunning, we're going to exhaust the uh, spacers, we'll bounce Boba Fett. Take for two. Take two. Um, I am going to repair my base for three. I'm going to take it for two. I will take the initiative. Um. Plays Bob. And I'm done. My Boba sits there being sad. Draw two. Resource. Look at the top. SLB. Yep, they're dead. They're dead. Boing. I like the super laser blast is the picture from the ground. <laughs> right? Yeah. Play Greta. The last thing you see before you die. 
Um, out comes Thrawn. Play Outer Rim Headhunter. Thrawn is going to attack Greedo. I will... I will use Greedo's ability. Okay. That's actually good. I will play Boba Fett. I will take the initiative. Why well, play Boba last turn? Uh, because I had extra in my hand. I had to do prevent my hand. So, it maybe I hold on to it, but... I mean, I know it's going to die. I don't know. But that's why I played it. It was dead anyway. It was dead anyway, yeah. All right. Fourteen. You are very much alive when the Starlock begins to eat you. Yeah. I'm not gonna resource anything. Um, top cards. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, I think this is uh, an Avenger action here. Dead. That's fire spray. It's ready. It's ready. Yeah. It comes into play and then it readies. Yeah. Um. I am going to attack your base for three. You like to do the thing? Uh, no. Not like to do the thing. Okay. I'll attack your base for five. Okay. I'm going to take the initiative. I'll attack your base for three. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay. Uh, Thrawn is going to attack your base for three. And I'm going to reveal the top card of mine and I'll exhaust this fire spray. I'm going to play Pirate Starfire and return a friendly non leader unit to its owner's hand. I'm going to pay five and ambush and bosk in the Boba Fett. That was not dead. Not dead. Okay. I could take out Bosk with just a Boba attack. You're at 22. But I can also attack your base and then play Fire Spray. And threaten lethal. Threatening lethal sounds good. I'll attack your base for three. Yeah. I am going to waylay the pirate Starfire uh, and do two damage to Boba Fett with Bosk. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Well, Asteroid Sanctuary, the Avengers. Okay, I will take the initiative. <laughs> I can't play Pirate Starfire because it bounces itself. Yeah, right? um, you can. It just bounces itself. Yeah. So. Okay, I'll pass. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh boy. All right, show me the top card. Yeah, let me, I gotta resource something, maybe. Show me that top card. Okay. Yeah, that should have, yeah. Bosk is going to your dome for four. You got it. I'm gonna... Cunning. And exhaust those two. And then discard a round card. Outmaneuver. I will pass. The pass. A bosk and a bosk. Okay. Some of those. Some of that damage tokens, Need please. A little bit of that. Yeah. All right. I'm in a Dooku bosk. Just like in the movie. <laughs> I got Dooku'd up. All right. I'll take initiative. You got it. Draw, draw. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Head on her. Yes, Ronda Karantip is great, Imo. Yeah, it's it's uh pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Uh Duke is gonna attack you for five. Oh please. I got four or less. Mm. Oh, Not these that's, guys. That's trash. Not these guys. <laughs> Cartel Spacer doesn't work against these units. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, I'll play Fire Spray. Okay. Um, Avenger is going to attack the Fire Spray. Okay. Sacrifice, dead. You can choose the Fire Spray to sacrifice. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's uh, exhausted. I don't, you may want damage on the, yeah, that, the head that's, I don't know. that's argue. I think I really need units in play, though. Um, all right. I will Just take it something. I'll take the initiative. Okay. I'll uh, pass. I'll put a card down as a resource. All right. Show me the, show me the top of your deck. This game's a great one. Release... On release, there's so much general balance. Yes, but was the strongest now. But really, it's like rock paper scissors with some of the build. I 100% agree. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think the game is solved. 100% agree. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play Dooku. Okay. So Thrawn is gonna attack your base for three. I'll show the top card of your deck. Exhaust the outer rim. Cutting. Exhaust, exhaust. Discard a ram card. Ah! Two blades of blast. Get out of here. I am going to repair my base for three. Best card in the game. One mana heal three. <laughs> Healing cell. <laughs> Play mining guild TIE Fighter. I'm gonna make an opening on the TIE Fighter. Okay. Virtual Spacer. What's up, Lord Far Quad? Cunning is insane, yeah. I'm gonna take the initiative. I don't think the Cunning players like won the games, though, is the thing. Not yet. <laughs> All right. That's it. This waylay is garbage. <laughs> you want to bounce terrible. that guy? You want to bounce Dooku? I guess there's some like there's uh, an argument. There's some like argument there's, to bounce Avenger because it like keeps you from dying. Yeah, yeah. 
But did you heal my tier for this making opening? Yeah. Oh, for making opening? No, I did not. No. I healed the three. Um, I have how many bad. resources? I don't know how long these bobos were full. Went. Don't know how these bobos went full on top eight. I think I don't think you can effectively win against Iden Thrawn, Krennic Vader, unless those decks lost against the rest. I think there was a lot of like uh, cannibalistic things happening. Oh yeah, just if, get, if definitely. You look, if you look at the meta yeah. breakdown, and I uh, linked it in our Discord earlier, there is stats for every single matchup yep. from every deck in every deck list, so you can see where things happened. And I think you're actually pretty right about that. Um, Avengers coming in for eight, and you got a sack a unit. Um, this guy. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to look at the top cards. If you could show me at the top card of your deck, sir. Okay. I died a Dooku. Okay. Alright, GG. The change of heart's out of here. Uh, change of heart would have been pretty good. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. If I got to one. I, I resourced one really early. Yeah. Change of heart the Avenger, and then I gotta figure out what to do. You gotta deal with the Avenger, yeah. For a turn, at least. Which you probably can. Yeah. Right, so there's all the Sabines, Hannibal Vader, and Iden. Yeah, so like, there was the second most represented deck was Sabine, right? And then the Boba Fett stomped the Sabines. Yeah. So that's probably why was, Boba Fett did so good. Boba Fett was, Boba Fett was like almost 75% against Sabine. Like, if you look at the meta breakdown. So um, next turn, if less people are playing Sabine because she got so hated out of this tournament, the Boba Fetts won't have so many Sabine wins. The green or IG88 probably beats Thrawn fairly easily. Maybe IG88 actually. I think I might agree with that. Boba Green, Boba is Green, pretty good too. But I don't know about I, Boba I think, Green. I think this deck probably has a better chance. I think that deck's got ways to discard cards from my hand, and Boba Green does not. Yeah, that, but doesn't it just like do its thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually think the mono yellow Boba Fett's got a better chance against the Thrawn. All right, it's it's Han time. I've been waiting for this <laughs> my whole life. You know, it's like I got a D sideboard. Yeah, I only put two cards in, so. All right, we're going to do uh, Han versus Bubba Green. All right, this is my Han ECL deck. It's not Casino Han. I am playing U-Wing Reinforcements. This is kind of a build I've been iterating on for a while, and I kind of just want to see how it functions. And I think I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of iterating to go still. There's a lot of cards I want to play around with in here. Um, but the idea is you just, you Han up three, you wing reinforcements, you dump a bunch of cool stuff on the table. That's pretty much it. And you get a lot of value, you get a lot of card advantage, you play home one, you, get, you play Mon Mothma. Rogue Squadron and Skirmisher gets guys back, Bright Hope returns guys to hand, they can return like Mon Mothma to hand, and then play Mon Mothma again, so. Using the Han resource ramp to fuel all that stuff. All right, and we gave credit in the last video, but we want to make sure that we give credit this time. This is the uh, the first place Boba Fett deck from the organized play event this weekend in the UK. This is uh, Boba Green. Mr. Uh, Cool's deck. Mr. Cool. So, yeah, we do want to give credit there. And the last um, deck I played was the, the yellow. Yeah. Mono yellow, and this is the Rory Little. Yes, Rory Little's Second mono place. yellow Boba Fett. Um, so making sure we attribute the uh, the deck's... Pilots and creators. Um, I don't. Maybe they didn't create them, but uh, they certainly played them to great effect yesterday. I've actually, uh, so. I've actually cut the Falcon out of my current build. I was mm. playing around the Falcon a little bit in this build, and I took it out. Now I might put it back in at some point, but I kept getting these awkward uh, turns where I would have to pay for the Falcon, and I wasn't using Han's ability every turn. So you then the Falcon's just resource drain. Yeah, and then behind curve. And I don't necessarily always have the cards to, nor do I necessarily want to haunt every turn. Sometimes I need the action, right? Yeah. There's an argument for uh, Falcon versus that Thrawn deck. Yeah, and you just bounce it every time because you don't. You just want the three damage. Comes in and they deal with it. They have to. Three. They have to choose something. Yeah. They have to either use the Thrawn ability or something, right? Like. I, I the more you play with this first set, the more like subtle subtleties and nuance you see between some of the design decisions on cards the cool stuff it's that like how cards match up with each other too. yeah it's really interesting yeah it's it's, it's uh, there's also a lot of thematic matchups mm. yeah surprisingly yeah i was pointing out that uh, luke doesn't die to the force 
Lightning the Palpatine. Mm. He's got seven toughness. Palpatine can't kill him with Force Lightning. Turn two and three, load, maybe enough to push damage and handle it. Yes, yeah, so, uh, that's not quite the the game plan for my my Han deck. I think is it's more like gain a bunch of in, a board advantage and then just utilize that to to win. The Falcon. Um, the problem I think right now. So the Falcon deals with red three and the green squadron A wing fine, but does not deal with like the space. The, the, the shielded, shielded guy. Yeah, the shielded guy's a problem. It does fight Consortium Star Viper fairly well, but I don't know that a Consortium Star Viper is going to come into play that early without an ECL involved. Um, I don't think you've necessarily just run out the, uh, the Star Viper. Unless you feel like you didn't have anything else going on. I also just, um, I'll show my sideboard before the next match, but I just kind of threw it together with with a little bit of thought. I hadn't, I've never played any sideboard games with this deck, so I'm not sure what my plan is going to be, but I think I'm going to try to learn um, from these games as far as what I might want to do. Right, right. For my like, what card choices. actually wins the game here? Yeah. Like, what am I losing <laughs> to? Are you losing to the value? Are you losing to the damage, right? Five. Are you losing due to lack of interaction? Oh, six. One ish. Um, this looks like one of those keeper hands, huh? Put those down. Okay. Uh, we're gonna kick things off with Greedo. Uta Guto Solo. Okay, well, I gotta figure out how greedy I wanna be. And the answer is. I don't. So freaking greedy. I don't wanna be super freaking greedy. I'm gonna play Mon Mothma. Okay. I could have done a lot more with like Han, but I, I don't like my whole hand. Um. Okay, let's see. This little guy? This little guy? This little guy? Okay. You gotta show me. Nope. Oh, I have to show you? Yeah, I gotta, gotta prove it's a rebel card. It's okay. a rebel card. Okay. It's a, re it's a re battlefield marine. Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. I'll take the initiative. Okay. Pass. This game sometimes. All right, Greedo's headed into the base. Um, Mon Mothma's heading into Greedo. He's toast. Uh, the the Han decks actually fared well against the Boba decks. I think they did, yeah. Um, overall, the Han decks held their own. Good. Oh, sorry. It's I just attacked Greedo. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll play a Super Laser Tech. Play Leia and ready a resource. I will take the initiative. Play like Battlefield Marine. Uh, that's it. Problem is that that tech just gets a free attack kill in Alea. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Mm hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, Super Laser Tech and Alea. Toast. Readied. Tiger Base for three. Yep. Out comes Mr. Fett. Bob A. Feet. That's why Fett Green is so scary, because you get Boba Fett sooner, right? Yeah. Um, you you play Boba Fett with five untapped resources, and your opponent's just kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna uh -oh. I'll resupply. Tapped out. Yeah. F four to the dome. Actually, so I can get some extra. Yeah, no, it's fine. Four to the dome. Yeah, Han does have a lot of really cool plays you can make with him. I think you. I think you gotta get a lot of games in them to recognize all the lines, though. Uh, I'll take it. I'm gonna deploy a super laser technician. 
Uh -huh. And uh, I'm done here. Uh -huh. oh, I don't have any of these yet. You gotta put a card down. Um. On card, your battlefield marines ready for what it's worth. Um. Resource reminder. Floating effect for next turn. You can just get ECL'd if that happens. Okay, I'm going to have the super laser technician attack your base for two. I'm going to play U Wing Reinforcement. Yeah. Ten cards. All right, let's see. I like Akbar. Yeah. Akbar, Echo Base Defender, R2. We will have Akbar D4 to Boba Fett. Oh. Bang. And then R2 will look at my top card. And I'll put it on the bottom. Yes, I will put it on the bottom. I'm going to overwhelming uh, barrage. So I'm going to get uh, plus two on Boa Fett, and I got six damage to bandy about. So I think the six damage is the Echo Base Defender and the Battlefield Marine. Okay. So if I deploy Han here, he's dead. So I don't, don't do that. I think I take initiative. R2 Day Toa. Uh, do I want to kill one of these chumps? Or I just want six damage to your base? I think I kind of want six damage to your base. You do get it ready to. You. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had something to follow up with this. But. <sighs> I made like a minor. I think I made a minor misplay this turn. I had to shoot first in hand. I could have shot the uh, Battlefield Marine with mm. uh, Super Laser Tech. Um, and then still had enough mana to Overwhelming Barrage. Um, it was just kind of kind of depend. I mean, like obviously the U wing was coming that turn, right? Um, but I didn't exactly know. Um, I I have a waylay in hand, but I don't think it's worth waylaying either Akbar or R two here. Yeah. Um, not really. Um, so okay. Um, we'll call it there. There's like a small argument to waylay Akbar, but I, I don't. Know. I, I think it's. I don't think it's good. It's not good enough. All right, we're gonna put down this card. The U wing reinforcement really could have been anything, right? Right. That's yeah. the the problem is I don't I can't with with perfect with perfect hindsight I can say I I definitely made a misplay there, but it's hard to. Han Solo, bang, ambush Boba Fett. But if it dies, Boba Fett freaking dies. 
Um, two damage to your base. I um, I think I want to play the thirty health base on this deck. I yeah. I I don't know that I use ECL very well. Fair enough. A lot of my guys are like one power dunk. Do you have Steadfast Battalion in there? No, I'm not playing Steadfast Battalion. Then I think it's it does out. not work that well with I think it's out. Unless you're yeah. playing Consortium Star Viper. Are you playing Consortium Star Viper? No. ECL's out. Yeah, I think it's out. I think it's out. I think I need the HPs. Um, Akbar attack. Well, let's... R2 attack. Okay. Look at that card. I'm gonna play Fire Spray. It's ready. I'm gonna use Han. Fire Spray's dunking on you for five. Ezra. Ezra with like two open, maybe two or three open, so you can play the card that he gets. I messed up. That was a. I think I died of the fire spray then. I die. I die a lot of ways. I have to take initiative. Okay. Well, I'm done. I need specifically something specific. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Clever plays here. I'm going to play that and then I'm going to discard this Bright Hope. Okay. And with my, with the Han resource destruction. Um, oh, and I can't quite do it. So I need to keep that there and discard this. Because um, I want to play home one and get it back. But I have to pay one extra for that. And I can't, I don't have the action economy to do that. No, I need, this is my hand. This is my hand. This is still there. You got below of one. Right? Still? Yes. Yeah, I think so. It was my mom. That's All right, we got there. I think we got there. Uh, am I might. Lost a resource there or something, but it's it's fine. I think I still die this turn. I'm gonna play this Bright Hope. I will not bounce anything. Overwhelming Barrage. Um, we've got seven damage on the fire spray. So I'll, I'll six. Die. <laughs> I'll die here. Yeah. Okay. I also have a waylay in case you have one last thing. So. Yeah, I think I think I bungled a little bit, a little bit of bungling. All right, let's see what I want to. What the sideboard's for? Let's see what I want to the sideboard. All right, so I got some shoot first. I got waylay. I got spark of rebellion. I got Lando. My thoughts was like Lando is probably good for the games that go longer. Um, spark of rebellion for the like control matchups. Waylay for some tempo, and then shoot first. So what do I want against Boba Fett? I think shoot first, probably. Yeah, Lando is like potentially pretty powerful in here, right? Sub goal met. Thank you. Awesome. When did that happen? When That's... did that happen? Is it just catching up? Oh, it just said that? Yeah. No, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> thanks. I think I had... mm, do I take out re... I don't I don't know what a side out is the thing. Surprise strike's good. Make sure I think Bamboozle can come out. Let's take out a Bamboozle. Let's take out a Surprise Strike. Let's take out a Frontline Shuttle. Let's get Shoot first. And let's keep this stuff in there for now. Traders and Casino Hunt is real dumb. I haven't messed with Traders in here at all. All right, um, now I don't know exactly what the sideboard should be in this situation. When I'm sideboarding out, I'm sideboarding out reinforcement walkers for Relentless. Um, I feel like Relentless is really good if my opponent's game plan is to play one big seven cost event. So mm -hmm. 
Um, I'm gonna take out the reinforcement walkers. It's not like you did a ton of damage to me early. Um, and so I don't, I also don't know that this is like a value matchup. It's possible it's a value matchup. Um, I do feel like you have to spend two of your cards to equal one of mine, though, so. I think I need to play this on deck a lot more. Yeah. Recognize the Han lines is very... It's not uh, easy. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, not easy. easy. It's not easy at all. This, the, so there's... You have to... like. I actually think looking at your starting six cards is an incredibly difficult thing to do. With Han, you can use like all of them. Right, one right. way or the other. So, yeah, 100%. Everyone Garage is just such a damn blowout, dude. Yeah. Ridiculous. I think I won that game on the back of... I think I played like a total of six cards or something. Right? Like, it wasn't... I didn't play a whole lot of cards. It's just Boba Fett plus Fett Fire Spray, which it just met, meant so much damage, so... Thanks, Gunstar. Welcome back. Yeah! Gunstar was uh, <coughs> one of the early days. Yeah. Glad you're liking it. We're also liking it. Star Wars has been real good. Playing a lot of it. I want to play more! Okay. Well, I think this hand is a mulligan. I'm going to put this out there. We'll, we'll, we'll put the... Uh, maybe this hand's a keep. Um, this is actually worth discussing, right? This is one of those... Okay, we're Boba Green. We got a Vader. We got a Resupply. We got a Resupply. We got a Shoot First. We got a Greedo. We got a Greedo. Do you keep this hand or do you mulligan? If you keep, you... You can, like, resource these guys or even Vader. Well, if you keep the Vader, you want both resupplies oh, because that's God. a way faster <laughs> just Vader, right? Ways to Vader, yeah. Um, I actually think this hand's a keeper, right? Six boxes and just got your first fade. Yeah, I actually heard something similar. Um, I've heard some uh, somebody had uh, trouble. Keep, um, keep, keep. Everybody's uh, people. People are leaning keep. Um, I thought about it. Right? So, like, a look at this hand. Greedo trades in a battlefield marine. Right. Greedo's just Greedo's just an awesome one drop. He's really I think good. we can agree. Yeah. Um, like, so I, I actually kind of want to find a room for Greedo in here. Yes. So probably he's not a rebel. Yeah. That right. kind of hurts some of my. He's not a hero. Could yet this. Uh, um, this deck does not keep up. Care about turn, hero. turn one play with two resupply innovator seems reasonable. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, yeah, down we go. We'll put two resources down. Six boxes, one Vader, but two showcase. Okay. Can't complain about that, really. Mothma. Um, I guess I'd play Greedo into that. We interact early, at least. Well, there's a chance you do so. Yeah, I'm getting sack bar. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, we'll play Akbar. I drew Fett's Fire Spray and Resupply for people playing along <laughs> at home. A blast, Greedo. Sure. I'm gonna resupply. I'll take initiative. Okay. Instead of doing one damage to you. You're at five. This is that turn. I hate that turn. 
Turn, oh, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. Yeah. Resource choices are really hard with Vaughn. I'll say that. Mm. You have to make sometimes make two of those choices a turn. Okay. I will... The serial luck of Lorcana. No enchantments? So it's a... We had a Lorcana draft that happened yesterday at the store. Uh, fired off like a little bit earlier before the... Um, before the... The other... Before the Star Wars draft. And somebody popped an enchantment in that. So... No showcase. Play like a base defender. Oh man, when, we, when someone pulls a showcase for prize support for a draft or whatever, it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so sick. All right. Um, I'm gonna bosk the echo base defender, and then I'm gonna use Boba Fett and ready a resource. I think Mon Mothma hates bosk. <laughs> she hates him. We're gonna deploy Boba Fett, the leader. Well. Uh, Han Solo. Resource. Um, Boba Fett. I don't see any reason to kill Akbar. I think I'd rather have four damage in your base, yeah. and then Boba Fett's going to ready two resources. Yeah. I'm going to play Battlefield Marine. All right, and then I'm going to resupply. Yeah. So I am now at six resources. Take it for one. Or do I? Yeah, I think I do. Showcase Boba? That nice. Plus six hundred dollars. Geez, six hundred dollars. When you open a showcase? Yeah. That's awesome. Uh I'll take the initiative. I wish I'm gonna leave the draft and open a showcase and I take my prize and go home. You just you gotta you just gotta play it. Flex on him. I think you end up playing that hero no matter what. Alright, you discard one. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, but Boba Fett showcases are like five, six hundred. The price has kind of fluctuated. It's gone up and down over like a hundred dollars the last week or so. So yeah. <laughs> I would play it. I'd force my opponent to look at it and be like, look at this. Look at this. It doesn't matter what you do to me in this game. <laughs> I've already won mine. I don't see any reason to pussyfoot around. We're playing Darth Vader. The um, man. We're going to win played Vader first. Five, six. That's seven, right? Uh, Ten cards. Ten. Um, uh, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Combined cost of up to three villainous units. Cannot get Greedo with this. Um, okay, well, this is the most cost effective villainous unit. The argument to go get this. I had like the space shield thing, but whatever. Boba Fett, or Darth Vader says, I've brought along my finest troop of Boba Fett. This has got to go. Got to go? It's got to go. Got to go. Feels not, not good enough. Um, Darth Vader is killing Battlefield Marine. Okay. And we'll use Han and put a resource to play. Don't look at that. Boba Fett is attacking. Uh. Killing Akbar. Is damaging base. Killing Akbar makes it reduces the number of units you have in that arena by one. If you were to get like another Akbar, whatever. Both of that's going to your base for four. Take four. To the base. The pulling Han. Yes, you can have both Bobas on the board. You get two. Yes, it is stupid. Yeah, I get to ready two resources. Uh, I'm going to seize the initiative. I'm going to attack Vader with Han. All right. I'll take five. I get a resource. I'm going to U-Wing 
reinforcement. Yeah, the subtitle and the stats. Yeah, the subtitle and the stats are what matters for uniqueness. Uh, if for some reason they were to print a Boba Fett that um, had the subtitle Disintegrator but had different pr printed stats, it would still be a different card or whatever, at least according to the rules. So, Hmm. I got some decisions here. Uh, so I did put down... Um, I mean, it's got like surprise strikes and waylays and cartel spacers. I don't draw the cheap stuff in the deck, though. I'm gonna get C three PO activated to Mon Mothma. Okay. I will use Mon Mothma first. I'll go top five. There's Battlefield Marine. Okay. And then C3BO will name two. Not two. There's the top. Okay. And then Akbar will take a base for one. Sure. And then I'm done. And to blow up your resources. Okay. All right, again, the initiative. You do. Oh god. Now it comes Darth Vader. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Um Darth Vader. We're gonna look at ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um we're getting the cartel spacer. We're gonna tap down Akbar. And then Vader is going to attack the Echo Base Defender. Uh, Han's going to trade with Vader. You do get to use Han's ability, right? Yeah, I got a resource. On attack. On attack. Um. Boba Fett, the leader, is going in your base for four. Ewing. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Han Solo is a good pick here. I could do Han Solo, or I could do like Bright Hope, R2, Leia. Bright Hope, R2, Leia does sound pretty good. So let's do that. So Leia's going to exhaust Boba Fett. Um, Bright Hope is going to return Admiral Akbar to my hand. And then R2 is going to look at my top card. And I'll put it on the bottom. I'm going to take the initiative. 3PO is going to attack your base for one. And uh, I'll say two. 
It's a fleet lieutenant. It's always a fleet lieutenant. You're supposed to draw the curve with R2. So it was an R2. Oh, I see, I see, I see. And I can get it yeah. if I wanted to uh, just have like, an extra card, but yeah. I want stuff. Yeah, you just want specific stuff. Mon Mothwell, attacker base. Sure. Does reinforcement see the penalty of color? For example, if you run Mace Windu no. in this deck, can come to play from the top with it? He can. Yes. Yeah, so, there is a Casino Han deck out there. Uh, if you go to SwooDB, you can, you can see the deck list. Um... But yeah, there is uh, 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 there are people who will try that. You can even get Darth Vader off of Ewing reinforcement yeah. if you want. Um, so okay, all right. I will put down a resource. Okay. Vader number three. <laughs> what the frick, dude? Okay, so I had three Ewing reinforcements, and I had to resource one to get the the one played on that one turn. And if I'm Ewing reinforcement again here, it'd feel pretty good, but now I'm mad because yeah. you have Vader's. Constantly. All right, Vader number three. Vader, Ewing's. Vader, Ewing's. I think that um, keeping uh, keeping this hand was a good call, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> uh, cartel spacer exhausting C three PO. I don't want you to draw extra cards. It's Vader fighting. Vader is going to take out Leia. All Asteroid Sanctuary um, Boba Leader. I'll shield R2-D2. Okay. Um, Cartel Spacer is going to attack Ho Bright Hope for two. Okay. I'm going to use Han's ability. The Fet Man is going to take out thirteen. Um, Fet Man is going to take out Mon Mothma. I guess. Yeah. ECL, finally, this fleet lieutenant gonna buff R2, gonna have R2 attack. Uh, what do we attack here, even? Let's attack. Um, Leader Boba. For three? For three. Okay. And then Fleet Lieutenant. And then Fleet Lieutenant. Oh, you know what? Let's do uh, let's do Darth Vader and then Fleet Lieutenant and Darth Vader. Okay. So That's Boba Leader thing. takes nothing, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Vader dies. Vader's toast. Yeah. I'm going to take the initiative. Well, Akbar. And uh, do four to Boba Fett. Three to Boba Fett. And then I'll attack this unit. Okay. And I'm done. Eight. Yeah, that was a good game. Let's go to nine. Bombs are being answered back and forth. 
Freaking uh, Boba Fett has been in place so long. Six Raiders from Elevation Games have joined. Welcome. Elevation Games. Thank Thanks for, for that raid. Okay. Um, you have to fight this Boba Fett if you want him dead. So I I'll swing three yeah, into yeah. your ECL. Okay. Hello. All right. If the game goes to time, I win. That's true. So um, I won game one. R2 Boba Fett. Okay, he's toast. That's bottom. I am going to ECL the Consortium Star Viper. Yeah, Leader Boba and Non-Leader Boba can be in play at the same time. Yep. Yep, okay. you're allowed to do that for some reason. We had that discussion a little bit earlier, yeah. actually. Since that's happened many times this stream. Um, I heal for two. Okay. Many times. Um, c 3 is going to attack your base, and uh, I'm going to say eight. Oh, you can need some home ones to... I just put them on the bottom! <laughs> to resupply. Yeah, I need him one. So... My home, two home ones were in the first U-wing reinforcement, and then one's resourced. So there's somewhere. So there's somewhere. They're moving up top, kind of. Um, all right, I'm paying six for Fett's fire spray, and it comes into play ready, thanks to Boba Fett, the leader. Boba Fett, comma, leader. I'm going play Echo Beast Defender. Okay. It would be an easy rule change to make to nerf the deck a bit. Yeah, but I don't, they haven't, like, designed the game with that. They yeah. designed the game with, with duplicate characters existing, right? So I don't think yeah. they want to change that rule. That would defect yeah. too much, I think. No, I, do th I do think it would rain the deck in, but... It, it would. But it would. It's not, that's not the way... I think, I think the easiest change to nerf the deck, if it needs to be nerfed, is to make Boba deploy on 6 instead of 5. Um, that goes a long way. Boba will attack the Echo Base Defender. Um, I get to ready two resources. Take a base for one. Okay. Um, I am going to surprise strike the Fett's fire spray and hit you for eight. Ow. Uh, I'll take initiative. And then I'm going to attack you for two. Yeah, I lose. Okay. Your turn. Draw. No. I need home one. Oh, overwhelming, bro. I don't think home one even does it. Nah. I home one that turn. You need, yeah, yeah. Home one right there, you're probably in good shape. At least better shape. Uh, yeah, that was a good game. Good match. All right, what did I put in here? Shoot first. Didn't see any of those. <laughs> That's probably been pretty good. I, uh, yeah. You were, on, you were looking at a lot of units you couldn't kill. Yeah, so, like, the problem I'm running into a lot of the time is, like, I have a bunch of ground units that are all, like, one and one, four, one, three, one. So yeah. how, do I, how do I capitalize on that? You need tactical advantages is what you need. Tactical advantages. I, I, tactical advantage is a slightly better card, especially if you got a bunch of donks, right? Like, your yeah. opponent doesn't actually want to fight them because yeah, exactly. they're, losing they're, out chilling. On, they're losing out on a big advantage. Uh, but tactical advantage gives you plus two, plus two, and that might be enough. Yeah, I, I so, want to... I'm, I'm going to play around this deck more. Surprise really, strike, or... I really like how it's coming together. I, I feel like it's close. You got all that card advantage, right? So yeah, I think it's tons like, of card advantage. Like, you're playing against, uh, if you're playing against, like, other control decks, then I think you, you are better off. Like, that versus the Thrawn deck would be really interesting. I dumped so much stuff in the play, yeah. So. That kind of nerfs pretty bad for physical game, though, this card. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that Arata sucks, too. It, it's not great. I yeah. mean, ideally, ideally, Boba just gets hated out of the middle by some IG-88s, right? Yeah. And then it all works out in the end. Uh, nah, neither no. of us are playing Disarm. No. Disarm is, uh, I, I like Disarm. This arm might just be the next card out, though. All right, finale this... is Boba Mirror. Oh, yeah. The Nightmare. One of us is Boba Fett, the other is Jodo Cast. <laughs> we'll figure out. Something happened at the Clone Factory. They made too many Boba Fetts. So this is a, this is a matchup that is going to be pretty frequent. I think so. <laughs> Boba on Boba. May not necessarily be yellow and versus green Boba. After, after this match, Boba Fett will have a 50% win rate against Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, Boba got... I think, I think IG-88. That's, that's the key. We showed it earlier in the stream. 
absolutely destroyed Boba Fett. And the Boba Fett, I was against this mono yellow Boba Fett too. And the uh, I was playing an aggro deck, and I had three. I had cutting cast on me three turns in a row, <laughs> and I still won the game. Thrawn also bested it. Maybe the mono yellow is not as good as the green. I think that's. I think very that's possible. probably the case. Very, I think into probable. a vacuum, I think the green has got to be better. Yeah, than I the think mono so yellow. too. The yellow is really cool. I really, yeah. I like, I like the flow of the deck. I like. Being I, able to play I like Bodhi. I think I like Bodhi's, Bodhi's an awesome card. Bodhi's just the card that's going to get better as the game get, yeah. goes on. Yeah, so for sure. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know how this matchup. I think, I think this deck did lose to that deck, or this deck did lose to other Boba Fett greens. I think, I think one of its losses was another six-two Boba Fett green. Right, it's one loss. But it did, it did beat Boba Fett's. This arm not being over one in the Cantina and New Hope is a travesty. <laughs> Green's better with way easier play patterns. That, that's that's true too. Yeah, definitely easier play patterns. But we'll see what happens. Okay. A tale of two bobas begins. I, w I wish you weren't chuckling over there. There's, there's the, there's perhaps a very funny situation that could occur. Okay. Uh, initiative. I want to play the Honda deck more. I love that deck so much. I know I just lost two games with it, but I want to make some changes and then play it. All right, I'll play Crafty Smuggler. I guess I'll play Greedo into it. Yeah, okay. Um, take initiative. <coughs> yeah, okay. I'll attack Greedo. All right, I'll roll use dice. our old Greedo's ability. Oh, Ooh, milled a fire it's not a unit. Okay. Didn't get the pre-release pack. Is it worth buying and then the full game is out? Buying a pre-release pack, I mean, or should I just get boosted? I think the uh, pre-release pack's worth buying. It's worth, like... No. It's not worth buying? Yeah, so the pre-release pack comes with some promos. That's the only thing the pre-release pack comes with. I believe the pre-release pack goes for more than what the packs are worth right now. Um, you might, like, I would check the promos, it's the foil Luke, and, uh, it's, it's like a foil Luke invader, double check, uh, the promos that are in it, because the pre-release pack is only six packs, right, and I think mm. the pre-release pack is going for, like, 50, 60 bucks or something right now, so, oh, okay. so be careful with it's that. It's worth it if you want the promos, pretty much, but that's the, it. The two-player starter is worth buying, um, the two-player starter is still readily available, most places, uh, $35 retail, you might be able to find less than that online, um, uh, uh, but uh, the the two player starter comes with cards that only come in it. Um, they're not available anywhere else. Uh, the uh, other than the organized play uh, boosters. So I'm gonna play Bodhi. I had a lot of options this turn. I uh, um you discard the traitorous. So the I was the funny thing the funny situation that could occur is that I traitorous your Boba Fett. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh. And then I and you have to kill your own. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, 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 no. I'm just and saying. You kill it. Yeah. 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 It, just, it just removes it. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, take take initiative. Okay. Yeah. I'll pass. I had a lot of options. I could have done things there. So. Bodhi getting rid of the traitor so does feel good. I'm I'm fine with that. All right. I'm uh. I got a resource still. Okay. <sighs> Boy, this is tough. Okay. All right, I'm kicking things off with the resupply. Yeah, so you like now you get Bobin to play before I do, and that sucks. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna waylay this dude. Okay. And then I'm gonna ready a resource. All right. I'm uh, bringing Boba Fett the leader in. I'm a no good to me dead Boba Fett the leader. Okay. I'll take the initiative. I'm going to bring five at the base. Sure. 
and that's it. Hmm. First TCG physically, I played MG Arena for a while. Should I get sleeves? Yeah, absolutely. If you're ever playing a deck of cards, uh, if you're making if you're making a constructed deck or even playing limited, you should sleeve the cards. Yeah, absolutely, sleeve them. Um, even booster draft, I'd sleeve them. Yeah. Uh, uh, just get used to buying sleeves. That's this is a tried and true uh, rite of passage for any uh, card gamer. Um, the I'm gonna resupply. You're resupplying. Okay. Yeah. So resupply. Okay. I'll tiger base for three. Sure. That was too many. I hit plus five three times. Oh come on. <laughs> there we go. Come on now. Um. I'm going to ECL Boba into the Crafty Smuggler. It does take two. I could like ECL into Bodhi and kill him for free, but I don't think that's, that's good. Play the Defender. Okay. I will take the initiative. Let's play Boba Fett. Fight Boba Fett. That Boba Fett. <laughs> that Boba Fett. No, that Boba Fett. Um, I get to ready to. All no good to be dead. Sure. You're Boba Fett. That's it. Okay. People double sleeve, should I do that? Uh, I never double sleeve no, anything. No, no, no. Double sleeve. Double sleeving was invented by Ultra Pro to sell you more sleeves. <laughs> So, I don't, can you even double sleeve in a tournament? You hear me? Allowed? For like a uh, yeah, I think you can. As long as you're, you have to sleeve consistently. Yeah, it has, they have to be you have uniform. To, you have to, you have to be sleeved consistently. But beyond that, um, all right, I'm gonna play reinforcement walker. Oh jeez. Um, and then uh, when played, I can look at the top card. I am gonna discard that in game three. I play fire spray. Uh, I will take the initiative. Well, tiger for five. Yeah. Tiger for three. Yeah. Tiger for three. Yep. Tiger for four. Yeah. Um, I ready to resources. I'll play the cartel space. I die. Yeah. I can kill Boba Fett with the walker and then gain three. Um, you die to the space. Yeah. You know, the, I, the fire spray. I lost that game to the no good to be dead. Yeah. I yeah. didn't have a leader. Pretty good. Also, Steadfast Battalion. I think if I have a Steadfast Battalion and my leader's tapped and I ECL, I'm in good shape. Yeah. So I think I had a bad draw. All right. Sideboard. Sideboard. Okay. So I shoot first. Sounds good. Um, maneuver, probably not. And then change of heart. So I saw Reinforcement Walker, which could incentivize playing Change of Hearts. But I think I do not do that, because I think my game plan of just, like, winning early game is good, and then Shoot First helps with that more, too. So let's get those in there. What are we taking out? Surprise Strike's good. Snapshot Reflexes are probably good in this matchup. Um, Waylay was fine. Asteroid Sanctuary is probably good. I just got, I just got tempoed out. That's all. I think maybe Pirate of the Starfighters. Yeah. Um, I, I missed Greedo. I missed the Greedo shot. I don't know. Uh, the game was... Uh, I mean, you won the... I had two cards left in hand. You had, like, played your whole... You played everything. So that's that's what happened. Yeah. I, I, the lineup 
what the way stuff lined up in that game was not good. We shall see, Joker. The match is not over. No, it's it's Joker. It's certainly not a. Uh, we, got, we call him leaps to conclusion, Joker. <laughs> Let's play with Pirated Starfighters, but you want to keep them many units in play as you can. So Pirated Starfighter can like bounce Mining Guild TIE Fighter, for instance, and just it's a good body. You, I used it against Thrawn to bounce a Fire Spray that had been exhausted so I could play the Fire Spray again. So it's just like a good statted unit that you can get some utility out of, or you can just resource if you don't, if you don't have any utility to get out of it. You can like bounce a damaged guy to replay it um, with the extra resources you get from Boba uh, to, to heal it, essentially, too, right? So there's a lot of little, little cute plays you can make with Pirate Starfighters. All right, so I sideboarded out two reinforcement walkers and a traitorous, and I sideboarded in no good to me dead and Agent Callus because Agent Callus can ambush Bodhi and end. Mm. I get to draw a card. So. Yeah. Tempted to sideboard out the Viper Probe Droid because it doesn't match up well against the, uh, the Crafty Smuggler. Doesn't match up well against the Crafty Smuggler. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But I also like knowing what's in your hand. So. I was tempted to sideboard in the other Viper Probe Droid, but I think one's probably still correct. Uh, interesting. There. You have an issue. Okay. Yeah. I am going to play Crafty Smuggler. Greedo. Maybe I can hit. No, I'll take the initiative. Mine guilt high. And this is. Hmm. 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 Megan's hyperspace is a great art. Oh, I haven't seen one of those, I don't think. Oh wait, I have one right here. I want to see it foil though. Play uh super laser tech. I was debating the ECLing ECL it, yeah. 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 Do I roll the dice reader or just get damage in? I'm gonna attack your base for three. Sure. I'll attack for two. I'm gonna play Boba. I'll take the initiative. Attack base for one. Okay, how's it? Boba Fett. Boba Fett. I hate him. I don't know this guy. I am sick of that guy. Sick to death of him. What's up, Rumbly? Oil resupply promo. Got the, the like the uh, organized play one. Um, Super Laser Tech is gonna fight Greedo. Pick a resource. I'm taking a shot. That's Boba Fett. Surprise. It's uh, yet another Boba Fett. <laughs> How many times we've said Boba Fett during the stream? I don't know. Well, where's the Boba Fett counter? Yeah, we need a mod with the Boba Fett counter. <laughs> I will I 
Yeah, we're not trying to kill people, Gunster. I'm going to waylay the crafty smuggler. And uh, ready the resource. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, somebody pulled a Vosk foil from the pack yesterday, too, and showed it to me. I was like, damn, that's sick. It's deploying Boba Fett. Damn. Okay. Does deploying the leader count as an entering play? What are you talking about? Did this enter play this phase? No. Leaders it, never enter. Leaders never enter play. Okay. Never exit. All right, just asking. I'm just asking questions. They never enter and they never leave. Attack you for one. Sure. Would you like to draw to a draw one? I would not. All right. I'm on an ECL steadfast battalion right in a boat. That stupid, smug yeah. looking face. Are you buffing Boba? Uh, no, I'll buff him. There's no reason not to okay. buff him, right? So I take uh, take. So he comes two? in and yeah, take two. Maybe I lost. Maybe I've lost. I'll take initiative. Uh, Boba is attacking for four and writing two resources. And then I'm going to play Crafty Smuggler. He's back. I don't know if I messed up, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know. No, the way some, and the some things ones. happen. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Waylay on, on Step S Battalion is certainly better. The, do you know the timing of Boba? It's super laser tech. Since resources in play, and this hook is the resources. Does it leave play? Uh, oh, I don't actually know that. <coughs> I don't know the answer to yeah, that. Yeah, that's a great question, right? Is it um, when defeated? It does say when defeated. When defeated, you may put this unit into play as a resource and ready yet. So when defeated, it says put it into play as a resource and ready yet. So was it in the discard pile? Is there so is there goes a ruling? To discard pile and goes there. Is there a ruling on? Um, yeah, because the the Star Wars Unlimited site has like rulings for. It's actually parts, pretty good right? about keeping up with those rulings. It is really good. So, all right, I'm gonna. No good to me dead. That guy? I don't know. Yeah, it's probably that guy. That's I mean, like that guy's like <laughs> he hits for all so much. Yeah. That's a shit ton of damage. That's ready, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just asking because I want to tap it down with the cartel spacer. You got it. Uh, I will play Bodhi. Leaves play as a unit. It says into play. Yeah. Uh, I have three units in my hand. Great. Um... I am going to have the Crafty Smuggler hit your base for two. Deploy Boba. Have you had a unit die in this phase? No. I'm going to play a 7th Fleet Defender. Give it a shield. I'll... Attack your base for four. Um, I think I seize the initiative because the steadfast battalion just answers. The, uh, you, he's, you, he's tapped. He's, he's, no good he's not. Okay. He yeah, will yeah, not yeah. be. Do you not want to do that? Then he will not. He will not be used. So this Boba Fett's going to attack Bodhi then. Um, it's like also kind of worth getting damage in there, but yeah, I'll get take, the ready to with Boba Fett. Take initiative. And then I'm going to play Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. Foiled. Oh, yeah. All right, we're done here. Next turn. Super sick. He doesn't ready. Draw. Star Wars Unlimited Boba Fett's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will. Prize strike. I'll have Boba Fett fight Boba Fett. <laughs> Once again, killing Boba Fett. <laughs> Already two resources. Okay. Uh, Darth Vader. For a change of pace and playing Darth Vader. Darth Vader kills Boba Fett. <laughs> 
to to spruce things up. Add some add some variety to the stream. Getting a uh, one choice one choice here. Uh, Super Laser Tech. And then fight. Yeah. I think it's really great when uh, fan-made scripts get turned into movies. This <laughs> is <laughs> My Boba Fett, my Boba Fett fan fiction. <laughs> oh, no good to be dead, Boba Fett. Okay, you're just buying time. I yeah, Cartel Spacer is gonna kill that thing. Yeah, I think I'm super dead next turn. Bodie, I have a Cartel Spacer in my hand. Yeah, I can't believe it. Um, I'll take the initiative because I think I can. I I come pretty Do close. Twenty to damage. Just, yeah, come pretty close to just killing you. Yeah, you win. Yeah. Pack it up. All right. Game three. <laughs> no, that was... That was game two. That was game two? That was game two, right? I thought you won game three, two. Uh, Am I an idiot? I'm Am scared. I an idiot? What game was that? I thought it was game three. <laughs> <laughs> it might not have been. <laughs> Does anyone know? I'm pretty sure that was game two. Okay, okay. That was game two. Pretty sure that, that was game two. two. Okay, yeah. Was... I just felt like I was losing that game so long <laughs> that I had I had retro I had uh, in my brain you had gone to game three did, already and I was like okay game three is starting now then right and uh, game three is a loss okay Boba Fett won game two right, right. Uh, yep yeah. yeah that's true all right game three game Boba three. Fett currently at a fifty percent win rate against himself um, change of heart I barely even got to six. I wasn't going to get six. Yeah, last thank you, time. Mr. Maestro. Thank you. Thank you. Out maneuver. I did. I did buy every single one of the shirt club shirts. So, I so. it's like a secret club of people. That's been yeah. a long time since someone recognized that. Actually. Yeah. Well, actually, there was a there was a YouTube comment on one of the videos where they said one somebody said my shirt was very Hank. Mm -hmm. So it was the the four Hanks from the uh, Ragin's the heart of the baboon. Radiant is the blood of the heart of the baboon. <laughs> Maximum Hank. Boba Fett on five sure is insane. So the argument for Boba Green is that you get Boba Fett out a turn earlier. Correct. Right? Yeah, the resources are... The ramping is huge, yeah. I mean, I did beat you the first game when you did that, but... I played two. You and played that was two, a big yeah. difference. Yeah. Um. Because I had, I didn't have like the low interactive stuff. That game. Yeah. I exactly. Did, you let right? me like build. Yeah. You got like a unit up, and that like snowballed the game. Okay. This is another one. Of the, I feel like I feel like you could. Uh, if if we wanted to, we could just draw opening hands and discuss lines of play. I feel like we could easily fill six hours of Star Wars content on YouTube just by drawing starting hands, seeing what happened, right? Just like talking about lines of play from there. But we don't want to do that. Decisions are really difficult. Yeah. Okay. I'll start with the card or mining guild. Uh, five fire. A wrap. I'm gonna play car, uh, crafty smuggler. Word. One of us will hit with a Greedo. And it's uh, gonna be dope. All right. You got it. Yeah, I was scared to throw the Greedo into it last round, but it feels so bad if you miss. All right. Do that is. So I actually think this is bad in the matchup. So we're putting that down. Good. Thank you for one. Set titles. Thanks for that follow. Okay. All right. I'm going to resupply Bob. Um.
I will attack Bob. Just okay. get some damage in. All right. I'll take initiative. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, good to hear that, Ellen Dole. Yeah, I, um... Uh, the more you play this game, the more you're like, well, I certainly changed everything I know about the game. Right? Every time, like, yeah. Thanks for watching, though. Appreciate you being here. Alright, I have the Inish. Yes. It's mine. To do with as I choose. And you're having a Boba Fett turn. You're having a freaking Boba Fett turn, dude. Alright, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna attack your base for three. Take a three. Take a three there, boss. <laughs> like, Boba Fett's Fast Battalion feels bad. Playing Bosk there, Bosk. Okay. Bosk's taking up Boba Fett in a cool bounty hunter showdown. Uh, I'm then going to use Boba Fett and ready a resource. Take a base for one. Take it. Drawing? Uh, no. Attack your base for two. Pass. Take initiative. I've never seen a more obvious. I we I don't want. <laughs> You're no good to me, to, uh, but yeah, I know what you mean. I don't want to get by with both of it. Draw, draw. <laughs> okay. I want to die above it. Putting a resource down. Um. Bosk is attacking your base for four. I'm deploying Boba Fett. Crafty Smuggler is attacking your base for two. Take a base for one. Take it. Are you drawn? No. I'm going to energy conversion lab, star viper into the TIE fighter. I'll gain two. And I'll use Boba Fett and draw one. Or ready one. Outer Rim Headhunter. I'm going to pass. Oh, did you gain two? Yeah. I did. They're going to pass. I'm going to play Greedo. I'm going to pass. Take a dish. Oh boy. I I didn't want to play my Boba Fett into your surprise strike. Correct. So. Or whatever. All right.
What's cunning? Exhaust. Exhaust. Random card out of your four. Plus four plus O oh for Boba Fett is really tempting. Well, you could exhaust it. We can bounce this guy too. Which lets me. Yeah, I want to return that guy. Vader. It's your boy. Hey everybody, Darth Vader here. Once again, bringing you the top 10 cards of your deck. Spacer. Spacer is going to tap down the Headhunter. Who is the Vader fighting? Great question. Um, I think Vader fights Greedo. I'm taking a shot. No. Nope. No. So I always discard some sort of Fett related card, huh? Yeah. I think I heard a shot. Or uh, Boba Fett. And uh, I'm going to use Boba Fett in Radio Research. I was going to fight Vader. Vader is dead. I'm ready to. I'm bringing Boba Fett into play. Finally. Um, uh, the people haven't seen enough Boba Fett. I'm going to play Bodhi. I have a surprise strike in my hand. As well as... as a Darth Vader and some other okay. stuff. Okay, a fire spray. Yeah. All right. Um, I think my Boba Fett... Um, damage to your base. Raise some resources. Or to take initiative. I think I kind of like taking initiative here. Okay. Since you kind of tapped out. But with that drinking game is wild. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, what have you done? He's dead. Yeah, let me give We're, killing real quick. We're killing this man. What have you done? No treat. Gunstar, we never told you this is a safe thing to do. Good lord. Alright. Come here. Come on. Okay. There you go. You've been treated. No. Alright, I'm uh spending five for over okay, oh, overwhelming God. barrage. Okay. We're gonna overwhelm Bosk, I think. Um, so when I play an event and can deal two damage to a unit, so I'm gonna do two damage to Boba Fett, and then Bosk goes to six, and he's gonna do three and three. Man, I wish that Greedo would have shot Bosk. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking tea. I I lose the game. I got okay. idle. Yeah, I, bang. There's no coming back. Because I, I saw your hand too, so. Yeah. You're like, well. So, sometimes you just gotta know when to pack it in. Vader is one. a heck of a I think uh, that, was, that was close. I think we were just like, we were back yeah. and forth for a while, yeah. right? I trying, think to, the, trying to get the advantage to. I think the problem is this deck comes over the top. Yeah, right. Right. Because right. Once, once you get late, you're like, Vader, Walker, yeah. Bosk, Fire Spray. And yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, I've got Cunning. <laughs> I've got this Bodhi that doesn't really do anything. Against you in the situation. Uh, I put no, I put in shoot first. The shoot first, I could never really make work. So maybe those. I think it depends on the break points. Yeah, maybe those aren't the play because like the plus one attack wasn't getting me much. Because like Greedo would be staring down the the crafty smuggler, right? Or Greedo stares down Boba Fett, and shoot first doesn't get doesn't get that trade to happen. So maybe that does not get sided in. 
But yeah, that is... Yeah, the Boba Fett. That is all the Boba Fett we need <laughs> and for a while. Yeah, this is green, yellow Boba Fett. Uh, if you're looking to drop 70 to $90 on Vader's, depending on the day of the week, $50 on Boba Fett's, uh, plus the fire sprays, I would recommend this deck. Yeah, it's a good deck. Um, Obviously, it's good. I don't want to say this deck plays itself, but I think you play enough reps with it. I, I felt it. like I was getting way better at the deck as yeah, we were definitely. playing. Yeah, I, like, I felt the same way. Like just, just getting some... That's just, that's just the nature of the game, too, yeah, like learning so. the lines. And I think yeah. I, that's why I think you can't just, like, you can't just, like, net deck the best deck and then bring it to a tournament and expect to do well without, like, getting reps in yeah. with it. Getting a lot of reps in with it, really. Having, so, like, there's a world of difference between having a turn one play into resupply versus no turn one play into resupply, right? Like, you want something that interacts yep. with this deck, um, and you definitely want... Uh, no, like energy conversion lab. Also, like I could see playing this without ECL. I don't. I think, think you... I think some of them did run the thirty health base. Yeah, I don't think you would end up playing the steadfast. You take battalion. steadfast out. That gives you more room but, in the deck, though, for more stuff. Yeah. you know. Um, but I do like ECL <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I think you definitely get better matchups against a lot of decks if you have the thirty health base. But I mean, ECL yeah. also gives you really good matchups against some decks. So yeah, and ECL is actually probably good against the other decks, like the other both decks, right? So. No ISB agents. Yeah, uh, I really like ISB with uh, Tarkin because you can buff them. So the they they you get can, there's an argument for ISB in here too. Um, I I don't know if I like so the the problem is is that green and yellow just don't have random damage sitting around as much as say red does, mm. right? Mm. Um. Or like the fallen lightsaber or something like that. Like there might be some build somewhere where you're playing ISB agents and fallen lightsabers because you're getting like random plink damage everywhere. Hmm. Um, I'd have to. I, I don't know exactly what that looks like. I'm just speculating here, right? Like because you, right. you get a lot of damage around. All right, this is gonna be good Star Wars, y'all. We had a, a day full of Star Wars. Um, yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of the video, appreciate you watching it. Yeah, thank you. Like and subscribe um, to the video if you're watching on YouTube. Yeah, if you're uh, watching on Twitch. Uh, Thanks like, for hanging out thanks. with us. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for chilling. Um, we, yeah, this is uh, very informative. Very, very informative. If you got um, Twitch Prime, you can, you can do a little Twitch I, priming. I do feel like this might be the green, yellow Boba is probably one of the best decks into a vacuum. Yeah. Right. Right. Until like, it gets destroyed by IGD8. Yeah. One day. We right. try, Until the droids take over. We need to try the new Leia build, too. I want to get, yeah. I wanna get yeah. some more reps I, with this my, The Leia build that I played... Um, uh, earlier today, if you're watching on Twitch uh, or in the other video, if you're watching on YouTube, um, the that is obviously not a refined one. That was just like a first take on it. That was just uh, a go at it, right? And I wonder if I, so, I think my Hondek does have a chance to to do some things versus the Boba as well. Where'd my Hondek go? Is this gone? I think you threw it away. I threw it in the garbage. I think you why would I away. do that? I don't know. Oh, it's well, right there. It's right there. It's a great question. Okay. I don't know why you would throw it away. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with Keyforge. Yes. So, our our keep our trek towards the belt continues. One day we'll finish that. We'll crawl across that finish line at some point. Otherwise, so. hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your week. We'll be back with Star Wars on Wednesday. Yeah. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.